inserting comment notes are great ways to have a note inside the cell without actually overwriting the cell's data. For example, for Clancy Wiggins here, let's say I want to insert a comment about giving him a raise. Select the cell and then right click and left click on insert comment and then simply go ahead and type in your comment. When you're finished, you can either click off in a blank area here or hit the escape key a couple of times. The first escape solidifies it, the second escape pops you out. Now, when I hover over that cell, it pops up that little note. In fact, now you can see it when I click off in a blank area. It's got that little comment indicator, it's a little red triangle, to let me know that when I'm working through here, maybe this is important. Hover over it and it pops up. I can also right click on it and edit the comment once I have it inserted. Maybe we'll say instead of next quarter, next month, and then click off in a blank area. I can add as many comments, and I'm going straight away to right clicking here and then inserting, typing in whatever I'd like. Now, by default, these comments will not print. In fact, the best way to find out or to test it is to click on the print preview button because what you see is what you get when you click on it. On the first page, when I click to zoom in, you see there's no comments. I'm going to close out of here. If I would like to print the comments off, there's a couple things I have to do. Before we get to that point, let me explain the first step. For example, the comments aren't showing. If I'd like the comments to permanently show, what I can do is either right click and then go down and left click on show hide. And you'll see that this is always going to be popped up whether I hover over that cell or not. And that you can do for each individual cell. If I want to hide it again, well, right click and select hide comment. If I would like all the comments to be displayed so I can print them because they have to be showing and displayed in order for me to print them, go under the Tools menu, down to Options. And by the way, remember how my name pulled up, Kurt Kershaw? Click on the General tab and if it has Dell, Computers, Compaq, or HP or something weird, go ahead and delete it for the username and type in your own name. So anytime you add a comment, it's your name and not the name of your computer. Now, the whole purpose was to click on the View tab to look at the comments. Do we want none? Do we want to just see the comment indicator only, which is that little red triangle? Or would we like to see the comment and the indicator by clicking OK so they're both showing? Of course, if they're close to each other, they overwrite each other. But that's OK, because what I can do is I can hover over the border of one of these comments that's displaying, click it, and then drag it up just a bit. And drag it over to the right. In fact, you can kind of get kind of fancy here with these comments by clicking and dragging them around. In fact, I'm going to go on a tangent. I'm going to right click and go down to Format Comment. You can see here I've got a plethora of tabs to go from, what type of font I want for this comment. In any case, I'm going to go to Colors and Lines. Click on the drop-down arrow, go down to Fill Effects. Go to Picture. Select a picture and double-click. And I'm going to look throughout my whole computer here. Once I find a picture, double-click on it. The sunset looks good. Click OK. Click OK. Yeah. So you can go really nutty with these comments. Maybe if it's somebody's birthday, you want a bunch of candles or a cake there. It looks really nice. But again, when in doubt, you can always right-click on the border to do some formatting for that particular comment. Click off in the blank area here. Now, if I go to File, to Print, and I click on the Preview button, it's not going to print out any of the comments. There's one more thing I have to do here. Now when you click on the Setup button, the Print Preview, the Sheet tab, gives you no access basically. And you can see right here where it's Faded Comments. Right now it's going to print none. So whatever you do, I say when you're setting up your page, don't do it from the Print Preview. I'm going to click Close. But go under the File, down to Page Setup, and then click on the Sheet tab and say that you would like to see either your comments at the end of the sheet, which is cool. But let's say we want them displayed as we see them on the sheet. So I select it. Print Preview, and there we go. I click to zoom in, and I can see my comment. My other comment looks like it might be cut off because it's a little bit too far to the right. In which case, I can click Next, click Next. I have three pages, and there's my comment that's cut off. So I'll close out of my Print Preview, go back to File, down to Page Setup. And in this case, let's take a look at it when it's displayed at the end of the sheet. Basically, it takes the not the comments, you won't see that, but what it'll do is it'll take the notes and tell you what cell the comment was in. It's kind of cool. Click on Print Preview, and then I'll click Next, Next to go to the end of the sheet, and then scroll up or 
click to zoom out here in a second, but there it is. Cell H8 has the comments by Kurt Kershaw. He says hi. That's a pretty cool way of printing off your comments as well. From here, I'll click close. You see that little line? That's going to be your print break. So this comment's over to the right too far. Maybe I want to put it in here somewhere so it doesn't get cut off or zip it up there just above the headings. In any case, I don't want these guys to always show. So I'm going to right click and delete one and then tools to options and say just the comment indicator only and click OK. So when I hover over it, it pops up. And then file to page setup on the sheet tab. I don't want to display any when I'm printing my workbooks off. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.